This is a classic geometry problem using calculus. We're going to look at the curve, and in my problem statement, I mistakenly called this a line, but it's a curve. So we'll look at the curve y equals 1 over x, and I want to look for what point on it is closest to the origin. Okay, and just looking at things, we expect it to be this point here, but let's look at how we can use calculus to get that result as well. Okay, so I'm going to call, I'm going to look at a generic point x, y, which has coordinates x, 1 over x, since y equals 1 over x. And I'm going to look at this distance and call it capital D, and we wish to minimize it. Now notice that d squared, well before I get to d squared, notice that d itself could be computed using the distance formula from x 1 over x to 0, 0. And we would have x minus 0 quantity squared plus 1 over x minus 0 quantity squared. Now rather than minimizing d which has this radical, we could minimize d squared which avoids the radical. And this is legal, minimizing d squared is going to minimize d for us. And so really I'd like to minimize this function. Okay, so let me give that function a different name. I'll call it f of x equals x squared plus 1 over x squared. So f prime of x is 2x minus 2 over x cubed. Set that to 0 and you get x equals 1. You get x equals plus or minus 1, but, and actually now that I think about it, the x equals negative 1 works as well if we consider that branch, and we'll be getting a point over here as well. So I'll just go ahead and keep both. x equals plus or minus 1. Okay, so the distance involved would be radical 1 minus 0 squared plus 1 over 1 minus 0 squared, which is radical 2, or for x equals negative 1, same thing, we'll get radical 2. The sort of endpoint type situations would be the limit as x heads towards infinity of f of x. Let me think about how I want to do this. Actually, I'll take the limit as x heads towards infinity of d itself. And then the other endpoint situation would be the limit as x approaches 0 of d. And then we could also look at the limit as x approaches negative infinity of d. And so looking back at our expression for d, as x heads towards infinity, d's heading towards infinity too. Same thing as x approaches negative infinity. And um, the x equals 0 that I had written down is interesting as well. The 1 over x then is exploding towards infinity. And again, we're getting an infinite sort of result. And so our conclusion is that the best coordinates to use would be x equals plus or minus 1. So x equals 1 implies y equals 1 over 1, which is 1. x equals negative 1 implies y equals 1 over negative 1, which is negative 1. And so what we're getting are the points 1, 1 and negative 1, negative 1, which, again, we could, have, we could have guessed, but I think it's interesting to look at how to use calculus here to find those two points that are closest to the origin. So we're getting this point here and then that point there.